Welcome to the Presidium. Allow Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned.
It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all That guy's up to something. What guy? Off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. A 
Alliance Military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Why should I believe a drunk like Fine, you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Not now. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. The back rooms are private. Reserve. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government.
All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. Too many lights, too much noise. 